Welcome back to Penguin Game Day. We are happy to be joined by defensive coordinator Jamal Brown in his second season with the Penguins as their uh, defensive coordinator. Coach, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. A little different weather tonight. Uh, I know uh, uh, we're supposed to get maybe a, a little drizzle, but you know, as you guys approach tomorrow, mm -hmm. how important is it to get off to that good start? Um, you know, it's, it's really important. You always want to start your season off the right way. Um, you know, I'm just happy to, you know, like other guys have said, to be finally going to get someone other than our offense. I think we've had a good spring. We've had a good summer. Um, so now it's time to get things rolling. Do you get a feel for your term during, during like, summer camp for your defense? Uh, yeah. You know, I, you know, I think our offense played – pretty well last season and we know what we have on that side of the ball with a, a really good offensive line, good receivers, good quarterback. So to be able to go out every day and compete against those guys and make plays, you get a sense that we have what it takes to be a really good defense in this conference. Who are some of the guys you're counting on? Oh man, we got a lot of guys. We have a lot of guys that returned from last year. Uh, but for me, man, it always starts up front with the defensive line and uh, you know, we have about 11 to 12 guys that will roll up front. Um, you know, Dylan Wookie um, is going to be great for us, number 17. Chris Fitzgerald, um, both of those guys had great seasons for us last year. Um, I'm excited to see the growth in Anthony Johnson. Um, played a lot. Um, he's had a great spring. He's had a great summer. Um, so really excited to see what he does. And then um, Andres Learman, who's be his first year as a starter um, he had a great camp as well so excited to see those four guys and to me that's where it starts up front. the depth of the defense I mean that's going to be important as we get in the conference play yes sir you know how physical the Missouri Valley Football Conference is so having depth at each position is going to be huge for us coach your first year in the Missouri Valley Conference last year what did you learn about the conference uh, you got to come ready every <laughs> week every week there's a different challenge and you know, you may look at a team's record and think that it's going to be an easy game, and that's never the case. It doesn't matter if there's a, a team that hasn't won a game at conference or a team that has won every game. You're going to get that team's best effort every week. I think you were third in the Missouri Valley Conference last year against the run 22nd nationally. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know, that was the emphasis for us when I came in. Um, spring of 2022 was if you want to have any success as a defense you have to be able to stop the run so that's been our emphasis since i got here and it continues to be a point of emphasis for us today as you look at valparaiso what do they bring to the table they got some skill you know uh, they have a couple good receivers on the outside solomon davis he's preseason you know first team all conference um in their conference they've brought in a couple transfers they have a quarterback who's young but played a lot last year um he's an ohio kid um so you know, I think they have some weapons. They have a tight end who has really good ball skills. So, you know, excited to see what we can do matching up against these guys because I, I think they have some talented players on their roster. Coach, this is their Super Bowl. Um, you know, from Valparaiso's standpoint, they're coming to Youngstown. This is their Super Bowl. So how do you kind of talk to your team about, you know, staying level, staying the course? Well, you gotta you gotta approach it and you gotta control what you can control. And I think if you go out every game and you play the best you can every single snap the outcome will take care of itself and you know we've reminded our guys that you can't you can't take anything for granted all right this is the same team that you know um was a one score game against illinois state sure. last year so you know our guys know that and i think they're ready and they're up for the challenge to come out and, and play the way that we're capable of well coach we look forward to seeing your defense tomorrow night again kickoff is at 7 30 just about 24 hours from now we wish you the best of luck tomorrow and throughout the rest of the season thank you all right, we'll be back to wrap things up with Colt McFadden when Penguin Game Day continues.